Well, it's back. It is season three, round nine, and we are moving on to Canada. We've had a decent run recently. We had a bad start to the season with no money for upgrades, but we are currently P3 with 141 points. Aston Martin chasing us down in P4 with 120. Ferrari in P2 with 214. Now we do have a bit of a front wing upgrade. As you can see on the right hand side, it does definitely look a lot better and the rank on the grid makes it a lot better too. So that's going to go on very nicely as we get set for this session it is going to be because it's practice first we are going to put all our pretty much useless parts on because we want to protect as best as we can so gearbox even if it's broken even if it's damaged it doesn't matter they're still going to get used to the track and this is a niche way that you can save your basically parts and they can run the other ones into the ground so performance targets we should be getting both cars into q2 by now we are the mighty williams and we should be getting both cars into q3 finishing position i do fancy a driver in the top five so i think that will be good and finishing position streak i'm actually going to put down to six and i'm going to put a hot streak of five 1.6 million help towards us so let's get into practice we'll be right back with this qualifying session and we'll see how we go so we go into q1 then and as we just look to move some parts back onto the car we have got what seems to be a heavy rain race so that could absolutely throw a spanner into the work on race day but let's get these parts on now i do plan in Canada and I might start using it at different tracks as well is to start sending my drivers really close together because I am finding great success in getting driver 2 who is in the slipstream a lot better time than what they usually get and that could be the difference between pole and like 17th <laughs> for example but let's get a few runners out there early on in this session use up a bit of traffic time and then what we can do is we can come back and then start the attack. So Leclerc's coming out now. We've got a few cars coming out. We're going to come out now. We're going to send literally both at the same time. It is Porsche that's going to get the slipstream. They're not going to be too close together. They should be absolutely fine. Hopefully nobody comes out the pits. And nobody is. So good lap here. Should be good. Porsche is going to get purples. And Porsche is going to go only just a tenth and a half off the pace so that should see us into q2 already so if just a few seconds left we are going to be nice safely through look at the gap at the top though p5 to verstappen and p6 to verstappen less than two tenths of a second norris is out down in mclaren ocon is out as well double mclaren blow gasly just making it through as well perez quite far down too which is interesting 10.2 for verstappen clear skies for q2 we're going to go early again. We're going to try and give Stroll this time the benefit of doubt. So let's go Porsche. Let's go Stroll. So hopefully we'll run through. No traffic, please. They might be a bit close together. Verstappen shouldn't be an issue here. Stroll should go purple. And he does. So they're both going to get DRS down the straight. So that's a bad lap. That is a bad sector. Last sector, I think. 10.7 is not good at all. So we're going to have to go again. We've got both cars actually right behind each other. I don't know if this is going to help. We're massively off the pace as Science now comes out the pits. It is carnage round at this track. We don't improve. Uh, the traffic is a nightmare. And there's not a lot we can do about it. We are going to have to go a new set of softs here. And it's just not that great. Who are we going to be sending first? We've got to send Porsche first. Uh, sorry, Stroll first in this. And we're going to go late. We are going to go late. We're going to let everybody start coming out. So I think we go... So we're going to send Stroll and then Porsche. So this is it in Q2. Let's go on board for this. Hopefully we don't get absolutely blocked. And they are right behind each other. So Porsche is going to get the toe of his life. Can he make use of it? Nobody is coming out of the pits. Let's continue that, please everybody and we are going to get a clean lap with a toe for Porsche 
And you should hopefully see some good sector times by Porsche because he's just close enough to get a really good slipstream. And that final straight will be unbelievable for Porsche. He goes green. Stroll goes green in the first sector. No holding up this time round. DRS is going to help him close all the way down. And he's not going to really lose too much time here. Only a little bit as we go into the hairpin. You can see how much Porsche gains by DRS. Stroll's the one that gets the purple sector though. And now Porsche gets DRS all the way down the straight, right behind our other driver. And as we come across the line, it is the toe of the century. And he didn't work that great. Maybe he was a bit too close. Three temps and seven temps of Porsche. That's not. Maybe he did really get held up. Uh, we should make it through. Perez is out and Alonso is out. P14, P15. Wow. Massive times. Maybe traffic in running. Absolutely costing them. Wow, that was unexpected. We have got two sets of softs, and we've got a use set for Porsche. So I'm going to go stroll first on the toe this lap. We're going to go early, and maybe we were just a little bit closer last time out. So I'm going to go Porsche, wait a second, and then go stroll. Maybe this will give us the opportunity. Hopefully, just Giovinazzi's out. So stroll should get the better run here. Porsche goes purple, purple. Maybe it's not working as much. 10.6, stroll, two temps off. Two temps off. This toe, where's it gone? So we're going to ride on board this time with Porsche from the back. I think this time he is far enough away. Uh, Porsche is going to take the slipstream as stroll took it in the first run. They're basically on new tyres. Good to go here. And we're going to see what we can. I mean, they look pretty pretty far apart here as we nearly look like we're going to hit the wall not to be though and it's probably a bit bigger than i'd have liked actually but we should still get a slipstream and drs from this run for porsche nobody out there to block us oh my god why are you doing that porsche just absolutely blocks off and that is him done he is not going to improve look at that a 23-1 pointless of a sector time. Stroll's not improving either. So we are going to start at least P4 max here. And then we're going to drop down. But again, why do they have to turn off the power and cost us time? Stroll is not he is going to improve slightly. Porsche does a green sector. That's all great. Brilliant. Thanks, team. Not good. And we're now down to P5 and P7. Disappointing run. Traffic round Canada is an absolute pain. Four share, P5, stroll, seven. We should have been better. We should have been a lot better than that. So annoying. Very annoying. What are we doing on weather? Can we go softs? I want to go mediums because I don't trust the softs. Because I want to just be able to push the mediums a bit more rather than having to look after the soft tyres. Um, let's go mediums and we'll probably be pitting for either inters or wets. That's going to be the interesting one. Which one do we do? But we're on the left hand side of the grid. Can we make gains off the start or can we not at least crash? Porsche is away. We will sit on board with Stroll from behind with the Aston Martin squeaking ahead but we do go on the outside we are going to take that position back so that is decent if we can keep it looks like we are is that hard tyres for the Aston Martin few people on the hard tyres that's interesting as Porsche gets past Albon we should be a lot faster on the medium surely hard tyres is not the way to go in this race but that is what they have committed to stroll four temps Porsche Going through the wall of champions. These are on the hard tyres. What? Where's that pace come from on the Mercedes? That low speed acceleration. Absolutely crucial for Sainz to keep ahead. But I tell you what. It's impressive how already without DRS. We were bang there. And trying to push past. We will top up for now on cars. But hard tyres. For a few of these. Is very interesting indeed. Can we keep close? Should get the run closer down the straight with the slipstream that is what seemed to be helping does actually break away quite a bit eight temps having the pace this time down there 
and now DRS will be enabled this lap. We're going to deploy a little bit on cars. Close that gap because DRS is around on this lap. Sainz is already out of a second from the cars ahead. Hard tyre is not getting the traction that he probably needs. And here we go. We are through already past Carlos. And now we've got to hunt down Charles Leclerc. Try and get within a second to get DRS. We are within a second. And that is going to help bring us through. As Stroll takes Albon as well by the look of it. And that is a beautiful run. Let's top up. They are on the hard tyres. That's why they're struggling. And Porsche is now five tenths off the Ferrari. Stroll looking at Sainz. Yellow flag. But that's quickly ended. So no safety car. No VSC. Not sure who it was out there. I'm sure we'll see a replay. It was Giovinazzi but only a lock up. Not too concerned about that. Sainz has dropped though. Just. We're going to get DRS here again. Another great overtaking opportunity. We're going to go to the left hand side. Round the outside. Through the inside of the corner. And we're up to P4 and P5. Now what we're going to ask is Stroll. Not to fight teammate. Because we don't want to lose time. And Porsche is only seven tenths behind Leclerc, who is on the softs. We are obviously pushing a fair bit, trying to stay within DRS zone. And these three out front are now packing close together. For Stappen, it's Russell leading on the hards. That's the interesting part. We've got the fastest lap time at the moment too. So both drivers absolutely buzzing and ready to go. But is there going to be any moves here? Now, we don't have to look after fuel because of the rain that's coming in. That's why we are pushing a bit more. Verstappen's back into the lead, past the hard tyres. Everyone's going to get DRS down this straight. Even Sainz on Stroll. But Stroll's just fell out of DRS from Porsche. And these, I do want to probably just go aggressive now. We're staying with. The hard tyres is slowing down. And, yeah, let's go balanced. It's Porsche P4, Stroll P5. I'm not going to push his mediums too much as we uh, are only two tenths behind the leaders. And Leclerc has locked up on turn eight. Now, this was the so we were challenging. It was a fight for the lead. Oh, and it's a big, big lock up. And Leclerc's going to drift down the field here. Leclerc down P19. That is huge. It promotes Porsche. Into P3, Stroll P4, but he's got Carlos Sainz right with him, quite literally. And it is Russell on the hard. That's who we need to get past, because he's going to be a lot slower than us. But he's obviously got DRS from Verstappen that's going to keep him at bay, as these two go together again. And this is a tremendous battle into the hairpin. Three cars all going through it, and we're trying to sneak ahead. Can we? find a move down the straight we go on board and Russell will use DRS so will we they'll get a little bit more acceleration out of them leading cars but we are bang there here goes Russell again on the hard tyres trying to get past Max and he does he does get through trust but Max does fight back in the Red Bull on the soft tyres is there any way that we can ditch George Russell here? He's not going to get DRS, I don't think. No, he's not. He might really lose out here. And we go around the outside, and we do. It is a George Russell mistake with the DRS. Now we get DRS on Max Verstappen. On the softs. Can we get into the lead of this race? It's all change on lap eight. Here comes Porsche. Through and out of Wall of Champions safely. We move to the left-hand side. We're going to try and take the inside line. Which leads to the outside, but Max Verstappen gets better traction on them soft tyres. Sainz is right with Lance Stroll, but he's just holding him off. And again, we'll get DRS off this corner. Here we go. Still, can't get past. Porsche, we will deploy for a bit of fun down this straight. We've dropped Russell by a second. We'll go on board. We move to the left-hand side. Oh, he nearly closes the gap. Mad move. We're on the outside. Now he moves to the left. Porsche is in the lead of the Canadian Grand Prix for the moment. And now he is in the lead as we hit the front. But obviously if DRS is going to come back at us, you can imagine, very, very quickly. Let's just deploy with Stroll. Let's see if we can get him to close the gap. As here comes Verstappen again in that electric Red Bull. 
but at the minute, you've got to imagine he's going to be coming through on this straight quite quickly. Surely, but Stroll's catching Russell really quick. Here comes the Red Bull as we go conserve. And he moves to the left-hand side. Who's going to get better traction? It is Max. And Max does retake the lead of this race. Stroll now within five tenths of the Ferrari. Going to say Mercedes because he's in a George Russell. But nope, we are about to potentially enter P2 and P3 in this race. As we exit, DRS will enable. We'll go to the right-hand side. And we are now absolutely motoring. We are squeezed slightly by Russell, who gets a good, decent traction. But into the hairpin, we are going to dive up the inside. And we are going to say bye-bye, because DRS will open. And look at that gap that we do then start to move out. So we are ahead. And Porsche is coming back at Verstappen. Exciting race here in Canada. Can we stay ahead, though? No, we can't. Not at the moment. What tyres is Verstappen? Soft 73%. We're lapping about the same at the moment. I do want to just, maybe just, see if we can look after a bit better as we go round the outside again. But the Red Bull gets the good exit on the soft. DRS will keep us within. George Russell still bang there on the hards. And as you can see, at the moment we move off being aggressive, we start to lose time. DRS will bring us a lot closer, as always, in P2. But we're going to try and just manage these mediums, because lap 31, it's going to go wet. That is wet weather coming in. As Russell gets stroll, that was just a DRS move, so I'm not going to go back and watch it. But here comes a potential move now as a DRS party begins. We go to the left-hand side. Russell stays ahead, but we'll get DRS for the straight. Porsche just lost a second now. Actually, I'm not too concerned about as we come back on George Russell. DRS enabled. Top speed of this Williams is fantastic. And we're going to potentially get move done here. Are we left-hand side? Back into P3 at the moment. But Russell's hard tyres seemingly getting the traction. Stroll is going back it again. I tell you what, they're catching Porsche, which is very annoying, who's dropped four seconds. So I think I'm just going to absolutely deploy on Porsche. Let's get him gone. I don't want Russell to be getting DRS. And I think he will, potentially. Very briefly. So we're going to push Porsche to stretch that gap out. It is a second now, but Russell does get the DRS down the straight. We need to just close that. It's mad how much time he's suddenly lost. He's done a bad lap last time round. That's a bit better. And he's a second quicker than Verstappen, who looks like he's now managing the tyres. We just try to get a second. And it's back up to a second now as we attack. 1.1 and Verstappen's gap down to 2.6. So we'll go back to aggressive now. We've used the energy just to hold off Russell. And I don't think at the moment there is anything we can do about Russell's pace. The Ferrari looks strong. And we are not necessarily lapping the best ourselves. 16-1. And there you go. Russell, as you can see on board, with Stroll just getting past Porsche with the DRS. Now what we might do is swap these two around. Because at the end of the day, Stroll's got better tyre management here. And we're going to probably just try and swap with DRS enabled. Have uh, we got Stroll on? I don't think we've got Stroll on. Do no, we have got Stroll on. Don't fight, do you, mate? We'll get Stroll through. He's got better tyre management at this stage. 63%. And we're not going to fight with Verstappen. We're going to leave Verstappen to go out front. And we will see if we can come back. But here comes Stroll now already on the back of George Russell. And that is why we swapped the positions round. Because he's looked after his tyres a lot better. Has struck. So it is starting to rain. I'm not sure what is going on with Porsche. He has dropped five seconds. Like, that is crazy how quick he has dropped. And he's got a tow of cars now behind him. So really, Stroll, or Porsche even, is in trouble. And he's in a lot of trouble. Because everyone, even look at that. The Alpha Tauri is absolutely flying. They're on the softs though. These Are these soft runners? Well, no, Albon getting past. We've used quite a lot of the mediums, though, I must say. Rain is starting. Safety car deployed. Safety car deployed. Now, everybody pits. We have we missed a trick here. 
Where's Verstappen? He's already passed the safety car. These are all going to double stack. Albon and Alonso double stack. Sonoda and Gasly surely going to double stack. We won't double stack. What do they go out onto? They surely can't go into us because this is going to be wet weather. If they go into us, we are in absolute beautiful conditions. Leclerc's moving up on the softs. This is going to be like f five, six seconds. Hmm, I think wet's here. I think we're going to go to wet's. This is our gamble. Well, so everyone else goes wet. So everyone else goes wet, then. So we are right to do what we're doing. We are just going to now conserve on everything that we've got. Because we might as well keep the fuel and harvest up. <sighs> so everybody going to wet's. And the safety car is going to group everybody back up the field. Russell on the hards. We're on the mediums, obviously, at the minute. But we're pitting both for wet tyres. Let's just make sure. Wet tyres on there. And Porsche Air. Wet tyres on there. There would have been a lot of double stacking. That's going to change the order. Perez down in 15th. As the Ferrari carries on. Russell stays out. That is huge. Because he's now going to be stuck behind the safety car. That is a massive mistake from Ferrari. Leclerc stays out as well. What are Ferrari doing? That is unbelievable. Everybody, with rain now set to damp track, Russell and Leclerc, in our fight against Ferrari, are going to tumble, literally tumble, down the leaderboard. And now... Now, both Ferraris pit. That is going to... What are they doing at Ferrari? That is incredible strategy. I have never seen anything like it. That probably sums up how they are in real life as well. Because they do like to make them sort of mistakes too. But Russell from P2. Leclerc from like, what was P6, P7 maybe. Probably even in top 10. They come out on the wets. They have used a lot less tyre. But look how far they have dropped. And look at them. 5% them have dropped compared to ours. So safety car is about to end. Safety and well, we've got 90% wets. Because obviously we've been running wets on a more drier track. So everybody's been struggling a little bit more. You can see 5% for most of the field lower than ours. We pitted the same lap as Verstappen. So we're about to get this underway here in the rain in Canada. We just checked that rain and that is going to be around lap 50 where it crosses back over to intermediates. But as the safety car tears away and is about to pull in, we are racing again with green flags. But the weather is absolutely incredible. And as we go through the final corner, we race again here and it's got Porsche and Stroll. P1 and P2 as we go on board with Mr. Stroll. And Mr. Stroll is pushing and Mr. Stroll is in to P1. He is past Verstappen. What a move. He's got them tyres up beautifully. And we have got ERS. We have got tyres. We have got fuel all to attack this race. The gap is obviously going to be very close because we are just on the restart. But can we get another victory here in what will be our third of the season in Canada. We go down the straight and obviously no DRS now. So that was crucial to get by Verstappen nice and early. Because it's going to be a bit more difficult for Verstappen to get through. And we are going to have to just... We could probably stay on attack mode. We've got literally around 15 laps to do. I'll probably just go aggressive on the tyres. And I'm now going to top up ERS again because it's going to be chop and changing all the time still in this race. But we set off nice. Look at Leclerc and Russell. P11 and P17. Tyres. Verstappen looking after his. And everyone else is going to be... I mean, no one's going to run out of tyres in this race. It'll go back to Inters before it changes back to wets at the end. So that's going to be fine. We're going to be pushing fuel. We're going to stay aggressive. We're going to be in a very good position as the wet weather look. Five millimetres. So on lap 45, nothing has changed. Obviously, the wet weather kind of neutralises the field quite a bit. And what we're actually finding here 
is that the track is starting to not dry out, but it's starting to get lower on the wet percentage out there. You can see on the right hand side that is just falling every lap. And what we've got to decide is when do we take the plunge? When do we go for intermediates? Because this is going to start drying a lot quicker and it's no longer going to be wet weather conditions. We don't want to get stuck in a pack either. So what we might do is we might undercut, overcut. We might do an absolutely attack lapse now with Stroll. So I think we do that with Stroll. I think we absolutely deploy. Give ourselves half a lap extra over Verstappen. And if he pits this lap, we're going to have an absolute phenomenal lap. And fingers crossed we can get into the pits. But that's what's going to be the hope. As we go down the straight, that track drying all the time. And we've got the gap up to 1.1 seconds now. We await for any pit stops. Porsche is 4.2 back off the leader. Zhou Guan Yu is one of the early cars to come into the pits. So Zhou Guan Yu is in. Verstappen just losing out here. And it looks like Zhou Guan Yu should go to the intermediate tyres. He's had a pit stop issue as well that doesn't help him. But 3.5 and you can see that's really starting to cross over and drop now. We're on the crossover pretty much. We're going to do probably one more lap and then we will come in for the inters. No more energy for Stroll. We'll top up. But you can see with his pushing on... He is looking okay. Will Verstappen pit here? No, he doesn't. I think we pit this lap. What does the rest of the field do? The rest of the field doesn't come in yet. Bottas pits, Sonoda pits. So Perez pits as well. So that is, I think, the sign that it is intermediate tyre. As Did that, that do anything? Intermediates, confirm. I'm pretty sure that means we're coming into the pits now. Porsche is attacking as well. And I think it's time for him to also go on to intermediates. So here we go. It is pit stop time. De Vries has a pit stop issue. And we're going to push Porsche. As long as we don't have a pit stop issue, we should be fine here. We've gained two seconds on Verstappen. And now we're going to come into the pits. Stroll hits the limiter. He is in. Verstappen is in. Porsche is in. Albon's in. We need to get Mr. Albon out as quick as we can. It's a double stack. 3.7, beautiful work by the team. Intermediates is back on. Now, we're going to drop down because some of them have stayed out on the wets. As we come around the outside, whew, that was close. That was close. We are out ahead. We're going to go back up on top up. We've got about two seconds still. We're going to try and get past these wet tyres who are struggling. This is crucial if we want to stay P3 in this race. And already, we've got Porsche passed, who is in to P6. That is what we needed. Porsche gets Magnussen. Beautiful double stack in that race. That's what we like to see. These should now dive off into the pits. That's what we should see. No, they stay out. But look at the traction that we've got on the intermediate tyres. It wasn't long until we find ourselves back in P5. We have got Stroll right behind Carlos Sainz. Carlos Sainz on the wet tyres. This should be now the opportunity that we take to get past. A lot of pit stop issues out there. Sainz's acceleration, unbelievable on them tyres. And we're losing time to Max Verstappen all the time that we're stuck behind. So down the straight we'll go. And look at that. Max Verstappen really closed out as Stroll struggled to get by. And here he goes now to the right-hand side and watch Sainz actually pit here. He doesn't. Hopefully he can hold Verstappen up. Hopefully. We're going to keep pushing. We're going to top up. Big moves for the leader this race. Porsche is not far behind at all. When does it go to wets? It's going to go around lap 57. So we can just keep pushing these intermediate tyres. Let's build the gap. Let's close the gap with Porsche as well. Verstappen's ahead of Sainz. There's a long way to go in this. A long way. Well, Verstappen has basically resumed normal service here. He dived up the inside. And now with the track getting drier and drier, that Red Bull is coming into play. Stroll got the good exit out of the hairpin. And now he is right behind us. We are pushing the intermediates. Verstappen is also pushing along with us. Uh, fuel is good. We are just topping up, though. Porsche is lapping around the same time. So we're not gaining anything more with Porsche, who's still 5.5 as Verstappen goes round the outside. That Red Bull is in a different element at the moment. 
And we're going to have to time this again because, I mean, surely Verstappen is absolutely pushing here. 94, 95, yeah. So Verstappen is. Look at the difference in the speed. He's gained that to a second in a matter of corners. That is incredible. 5.3 to Porsche. Maybe we're just running a little bit hot compared to. But it shouldn't make too much of a difference. It just means the tyres wear out a little bit more. We're gaining, or well, what looked like we're gaining it back, but we're not. We're going to go back up to neutral, see if that helps us. Just trying to gain for the rest of this race. But wet tyres, probably only a few laps away again. And now we are closing again on Verstappen. This wet weather should start coming back in. Magnussen pits for potentially wets out front. Verstappen carries on. We're closing all the time. 10, 15 laps to go. That's all that matters here. 15 laps to go. We're still on top up. This has got to be the lap that we pit, I reckon. Or do we go one more? Wow, big rain spot on the screen. Beautiful. Come on. This is going to start absolutely ramping up. And I think we pit next lap. I think this lap with Porsche. We're going to give Porsche the optimum strategy because this is now two millimeters and it is raising and rising very very fast if he pits now we go deploy we don't we don't we're just going to keep looking after it Porsche is in we've probably gone early with Porsche maybe but it's still 2.3 it is absolutely flying up at the minute Porsche hits the grid pit box no that is not the time to have a pit stop issue 7.5 seconds that is not great at all. We're going to come out the pits. We've got an Alfa Romeo on our inside. We're just going to get ahead. That is not what you want in a battle as we're all over the back of the Red Bull. That was basically four and a half seconds lost. Bottas all over the back of us showing that the intermediate's just working. And now Verstappen pits. So we're going for the overcut. We go to wet tyres. Verstappen in the pits. Can we overcut Verstappen? Intermediate tyres. We've got Porsche in P8. Everyone's starting to come in now. A few more pit stops happening as this track gets wetter and wetter and wetter. We've got Stroll in the lead. Not doing personal best sectors though. Three millimetres of rain now out there. Can we do the overcut? Verstappen didn't have a pit stop issue. There's about 18 seconds is the gap. There's a bunch of back markers ahead of us. And Porsche is running hot. But that should help shortly as he comes in. We need a good stop now, team. This is it. This is where you get paid your money, my friends. This is where you absolutely get paid your money. Good stop needed. 3.6. That's not bad. Where is Verstappen? Verstappen's coming across the line now. Stroll's coming out. We're going to overcut Verstappen. And we're going to overcut Alonso because he's stuck behind is Verstappen Alonso. And now we can push, push, push early and see if we can just build a little bit of a gap. It is currently P6 and this track now is a lot, lot wetter. We've got the Alfa Romeo of Valtteri Bottas running very high in the standings at the minute in P5. But we just need to get past him. We get better exit, you can see. But we just can't find a way at the moment as the track does change to wet. Surely... This Alfa Romeo pits this lap. Surely. Albon pits. Alonso pits. Verstappen is a second behind. We have got cold, wet tyres at the moment. And Porsche is currently stuck. Oh, as Albon overcuts us, we are stuck behind Bottas, who's come out on brand new Inters. And Alex Albon is potentially going to rob our P3 position. We do finally get ahead. Verstappen is closing all the time. We are pushing. There's nothing we can do about this. This could be carnage. I think Verstappen might just ruin our potential victory chances. As we go down the straight, 10 laps to go. We're going to watch the lap times. Look at the lap times. A 121.7 by Verstappen. Five tenths quicker. This track is going to stay wet. And it might be that Verstappen is just a little bit better in these conditions. I mean, he has pushed hard. He's on 95%. He has pushed very hard. But Verstappen is all over the back. Can we keep the top speed available? 
Porsche airs catching album. Let's go. At we are attacking. We just can't get the tyres up to temperature. That is our problem. That is the problem at the minute. Six tenths is the gap. Porsche Air trying to chase down the podium positions again. We're going to go attack him. I mean, he's going to have fresher tyres by 8% album. But surely he is not taking our podium away from us. Surely not. Eight tenths for Verstappen to Stroll. And I think with the current situation, we can't catch album. It's two seconds. Verstappen is catching us again. We are pushing. We just can't get these tyres into the window. We need them to run a little bit warmer. We are attacking. We're on 77 degrees. Porsche is at 81. So just a few degrees hotter and they'll be perfect. We're going to move back stroll to neutral here. As Verstappen gets a great exit. Porsche just cannot catch Albon on his fresher tyres. So... We just really got done. And here comes Verstappen. Is he going to take our P1 away? Yes, he is at the moment. Oh, man. But I think Verstappen is pushing hard on them tyres. Well, he's not pushing that hard anymore. It's just the raw pace of the Red Bull. He's absolutely killer. Uh, we're going to keep just looking after topping up. And we'll probably have a fight again later in this race. Paul, I'll take P4. We should have got past... Who was it? I think it was Science. We should not be really P4, but I think we are going to stay P4. But we'll see if we can catch him. We are sticking with Verstappen at the moment. With only five laps to go, this could be another race win. We're just looking after the ERS system still. As Verstappen gets a good exit, very good exit out of that core hairpin. And we're going to close slightly down the straight. We're going to have to save this for the last few laps, I think top up all the time and then give it full beans two laps to go I think that's the plan as we close up again it's just six temps Porsche has got that gap down to 1.4 he is attacking now we've got some heat in them tyres we might be okay I think that's why Verstappen was quicker because he actually got the tyres hot and that helps when them tyres are hot and though you can see because we're now running in the air we've closed up nicely and we are within the attack mode 85 degrees. Just running a little bit, about 2 or 3 degrees hotter than we would like. Porsche has got that gap to 1.1 now. We're going to try and just save a bit more ERS. Verstappen kicks again out front. 6 tenths. And let's just look at the last lap time. 23-1. We matched it by a thousandth of a tenth, pretty much. And Porsche did a 22-6. Well, 22-8, 23-2. So, this is not over. Not over by a long shot. Porsche is closing. Stroll is sticking with. And then we decide when we want to push. Two laps to go. We are going to push on this ERS. That should give us enough as we come out the hairpin. But it's going to be three laps to go as we hit the line this time round. Can we find a way? Porsche is less than a second off the podium. Could be our first ever double podium in F1 manager and with Williams. Three laps to go. So next time round, for two laps, we will push. Porsche, seven temps behind the Aston Martin. This could be all systems go on the last couple of laps. As Verstappen kicks again. We've got good fuel. Everything's good to go. Porsche is now six temps behind. I don't care about the tyres. We're pushing. Come on, Stroll. Come on, Strolly boy. And what we're going to do, overtake aggression is going to be high. Let's now push for two laps, seven temps. We're going to do the same for Porsche. We don't want him to defend. We want high overtake aggression. And we are now going to deploy. So can we catch these two cars? Can we get P1 and P3? We're already all over the back of Max Verstappen. We've closed that right up already. We move to the left-hand side. We can see Max is there. And now we're putting Max Verstappen under pressure. Here we go out the corner. We're coming to the hairpin. Inside move. We're going to take the lead. On one lap to go. We are out of energy. That's not good. We're going to top up again. But we are absolutely pushing here. Porsche right behind. And we're out of energy again as well. We didn't get save up a lot at all. But it's four temps on the final lap. 
When do we deploy is the question. Two tenths for poor share to find. Tyres are fine, mate. Just keep pushing. And now we just try and use any ERS that we have got available. We deploy again. Six tenths is the gap out front to Stroll. Can we get Porsche into P3? Double podium. Out of the corner we go. We're going to make a run. We're going to make a run. We're going to try a move. We're going to get cut out a little bit. Can we take the inside line again? We can. We're up to P3. Is that P3? No. Albon comes back at us. Albon has just got it. Stroll wins. What a performance. What a performance. I don't think we're going to get a double podium. It's going to be absolutely close. It's going to be P4. Lance Stroll takes victory in the wet. It's another win here in Williams' season. What a race. It was full of tyre changes. It had a safety car. It had an absolute Ferrari nightmare. But Porsche just misses out on our first double podium for Williams. He comes along in P4. Russell manages to get P7. Leclerc down in P15. That is big points coming our way for Williams. Gutin! That is. Oh, look at that. He is buzzing with that result. P1 for Mr. Stroll. Look at him. Oh, in front of the cameras. Yes, boys. Girls. Three wins for Mr. Stroll. Albon in P3. Verstappen in P2. And let's get the champagne a-popping as we take a win under amazing difficult conditions here in Canada. And it is... An absolute battle to the line. Williams crew, you've done proud. Porsche actually got done by that bad stop, didn't he? Seven point something seconds. And that costs him P3 in the end. It is 25 points for Stroll. 12 for Porsche. And in our fight in the constructors, we gain 12 points on Aston Martin. We gain 31 on Ferrari. We also gain on Red Bull. Can we catch Red Bull? Is that out of the equation? You never know. Pit times. Yeah, you can see, look, three stops for Stroll, all decent. That one stop when it mattered on lap 55 takes away Porsche's first podium, annoyingly. But what a win for Lance Stroll. He is going to be buzzing with that. We get both cars in the top four. And that was fantastic. Austria up next, which is notoriously a very good circuit for us. It is full of DRS, slipstream and trains as well. So, yeah, it's going to be very interesting. Join us for Austria as we look ahead to try and catch the Ferrari. <laughs> 